Greetings, everybody. Let's get this thing started. Panda here, and today we're going to be jumping into another episode of Trophy Hunter. If you guys aren't familiar, each and every episode, we take a stab at collecting and adding another trophy to our collection. So today we're going to be going for actually two trophies here that we collect. Uh, the first being Take a Bow or uh, Take a Bow. And in Der Eisendraka, upgrade the Wrath of the Ancients. Um, the second the second one that we actually happen to stumble upon is the trophy called That's a Lot of Gigawatts. And that's Ender Eyes and Draka Electrocute 121 Zombies. This is some gameplay from the very first time that I upgraded a bow. So let's check it out. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is go around the map and feed each of the three dragon heads. Once that's completed, you'll be able to pick yourself up the Wrath of the Ancients. Similar to Origins, there are four different upgrades to the Wrath of the Ancients. Uh, to get this particular one started for the Storm Bow, what we're going to need to do is hit a charged bow at the Weather Vane on top of the Bastion. From there, you will see a broken Storm Bow that was hidden inside the Brick's Fall. Pick that up and the quest has begun. From here, we're going to be looking outside the playable area for three unlit smoke signals. We're going to use a charge shot from our bow to light each of the three. One can be seen from next to the KRM, the other near the starting Wonder Fizz location, and the third from the launch pad. Once this is completed, head back down into the pyramid room and wall run across the wind tiles that are now lit. You will need to run across each of them without touching the ground. Now, so this may take a couple attempts, but just be patient and you will definitely be able to get it. From here, we need to fill up three electrically charged urns with zombie souls. Each of these can be located not far from one of the locations where we lit a fire signal. Once all of these are filled, we're moving on to the next step. Next, we must electrically charge our bow by dipping it into the urn and once again hit the smoke signal. Once this is done correctly, each of the smoke signals will now be burning not only with fire, but with electricity as well. We'll return back to the weather vane and pick up our mended Remember. bow. From here, we're on to the last and final steps. Bring the bow back downstairs into the pyramid room and place it into its respective box. We'll just feed that box with souls once again, and in a matter of time, it will stop taking souls. Go up to the box, place your bow inside, and watch the magic happen. Wait a couple seconds, and you have yourself the Storm Bow. This thing is a killer. Probably one of the strongest ones that there is. But there it is. Take a bow. Take a bow. Mm. A couple rounds later, all of a sudden, I was just playing through still, and boom. That's a whole lot of gigawatts. Bow, bow. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Trophy Hunter. And on that note, I'm out of here. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Panda out.